Christmas greetings, Dave and Liz from beautiful Mount Cutha, of which uh, the sign reversed reads perfectly well, but I know the smarts and the camera are gonna swap it around. So uh, I'll do the rest of the message from the front. So Dave and Liz, little Christmas message. Uh, another example of the infrastructure that's being improved uh, at the Mount Kutha precinct here. Uh, this sign is not 500 metres away from the burial plot of Cannon Garland, you'll be surprised to know. Uh, the sign's made of what's called core 10 steel and it rusts to a dusty uh, patina as you can see in some of the sign here uh, and then it stops rusting uh, the carbon is packed dense on the structural steel face stopping any further rust uh, this is really quite an exceptional sign I'd almost call it a sculpture in actual fact but no it is a sign so let's just uh, move on and just have a look at the activity that's going on across the way in Anzac Park. Just getting on that Christmas season, David and Liz, and the council's busy watering the trees and will, no doubt, do a bit of watering of Cannon Garlands and the Lone Pine. I just thought you'd like to see that while I was in the local area. The tree, well, it looks... Well, the tree's going really well. Got to stand the camera up on its end to actually fit it in, which is not too bad. Uh, I've brought a little bit of Christmas cheer along, which I'll spread out and around in a second and show you the end result. Um, you can hear a rainbird in the uh, background noise. That's what that is. Uh, curlew and that is a little bit in conflict with what the forecast is it's meant to be hot and dry let's hope the birds right and the weather men are wrong so there you go a little bit of a feed a little bit of mulch and a very merry christmas to you both